How did you just come? Were you in the bathroom? You were probably in the bathroom. Uh, you've been here overnight, though. I'm sorry. We locked you in, in the bathroom. Um, hope you had a fun evening. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Espresso Tycoon. Awesome coffee, too, here in the heart of London. And the hipsters are going nuts for the no mayonnaise we promise it's basically a watered down hot chocolate with a dollop of mayonnaise in it and the hipsters are going insane now pause that for a sec you walked in happy but you're not getting happier your happy is going down dramatically i bet it's because you're waiting a long time now you do take a very long time a very long time, Brandon, to make a no mayonnaise, we promise. And it's not your fault. You're actually quite quick as an employee. But there's a lot of, well, there's a lot of moving parts to the no mayonnaise, we promise. It's mostly just hiding the jar of mayonnaise so the hipsters don't see it. And then we put a huge dollop of mayonnaise in your watered-down hot chocolate. And we make some frothy latte art and call it a day. And you pay like 20 bucks for this. It's insane. But you... You're getting real sad because you're having to wait. Well, good news for you. I was actually thinking about hiring somebody else because our Smig coffee machine here has two barista spots. So I could get somebody else in here to be working the, the coffee machine and get you out of here a little bit faster. You're probably just busting for a no mayonnaise, we promise. I also want to look at, look at research and I want to figure out my customer problems because I'm being reminded here that my rating is not going up and I should check the customer's window to see why. I've got a lot to do here in London. All right, let's start with the customers. What are your problems? I won't have a cup of coffee, but they won't let me come in with my pet. Yes, I will. I've got a dog bowl right there. You are incorrect. That's probably like yesterday's review or from whenever I put down the uh, the dog bowl. Price of no mayonnaise is very affordable. Well, I can change that. That That's very easy to do. I decided to order the no mayonnaise, but it's not my favorite. Oh, it will be. It will be. It's going to it's gonna be the talk of London. Trust me. Uh, barista could improve his milk skills. Milk skills bad. Okay, Brandon. If I, Brandon, train you, do you go away? This is the thing. If I train you, ah, yeah, see, you're going to be trained for six hours. You're going to leave. That's not good. Who could I theoretically hire? Is anyone actually good at anything? Uh, Scott, you're pretty good at coffee. Your milk now, very poor. You're very, very poor. Scott, you're terrible. Honestly, you're, you're just terrible. Now, Janice here is slightly better. And Janice work, wants to work 12 hours a day. Janice, I already like you. You're poor with coffee. You're poor with speed. But your milk and your art are fine. You're very pricey, though. $73 a day. I mean, obviously, you're working more hours. I totally get that. Is anyone... Wow, everyone is terrible. All right, I'm going to tentatively hire Janice. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what we can do with Janice here. Mostly because I want to send Brandon off for some training. So, Janice, what if you came in at, like, 6? And then you're... Okay, 5. So... There we go. What if you worked six to six, and then Brandon here, your midnight or noon to midnight rather, because you prefer evenings. Janice prefers afternoons, so that should be perfect for Janice. Okay, let's see if that's going to speed things along a little bit. Let's get things going here. How much money do I have? Not much, because I keep spending it on things. Okay, uh, we've got Tabasco. <laughs> oh, we've researched Tabasco. Oh, oh, yeah, see, she left. Yeah, see, she went away. She didn't get a no mayonnaise, we promise. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got a, I've got a thing here. Oh, and that's a cleaner job. Okay, so the cleaners refill the water dog bowls. Maybe that guy was right. Maybe there's just no water in the dog bowl. Uh, what do you want? Is it a no mayonnaise, we promise? Oh, a latte. Psh, amateur. Now, I noticed that despite the two spots over here, we've still got a bit of a bottleneck. We don't seem to be able to have the both of them over here at the same time working on the thing. Somewhere in here, I must be able to get another coffee. Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you done? Oh, you're done. Oh, okay, Brandon, it's all you now. Okay, um, go to research. So much to do here. Go to research. Go to research. Show me... Ah, uh, yeah, I am researching snacks. That's good. I'm going to take off paintings for right now. I really want to focus on snacks and whatever is in others. Because we've only got the croissants. What have I done here recently? Heavy cream, toffee, honey, 
peanut butter Tabasco. What if I just slammed all of these into one drink? Eggnog with heavy cream, toffee, honey, peanut butter, and Tabasco. How much, how much would the hipsters love that? Now, speaking of hipsters, we are delighting the hipsters. The hipsters are going nuts. We're also doing very well on students and tourists. Not so much with everyone else. Not so much there. Kids, casuals, we're not really meeting their needs. Don't really know what they like. I mean, I'm sure ice cream would probably be good for the kids. Um, when are we, go back to customers here, when are people here? Okay, so if I go to neighborhood, it looks like tourists are here for the bulk of the day. We mostly have tourists. And then we get little surges of seniors and kids right around the middle of the day here, right around noon. The hipsters are out the door, but everyone else is kind of here. All right, so I should get something in that's going to satisfy these people. Although they're just going nuts over no man is, we promise. Are you a hipster? Are you in love with this? You're a tourist. Okay. This barista could improve his milk skills. We're going to work on that, Chief. We're going to probably send you away for training in the morning. Oh, hang on. I'll get the trash. I'll get the trash. I'm not going to hire a cleaner yet. I think I can handle this myself. Uh, we are getting pretty full on the tables here. Well, good news. I was thinking about decorating anyway. What could... Oh, I have a bathroom. Oh, look at that. I have a bathroom. Can I do anything with this? Oh, I can see in the bath. Okay, that's probably not good. No, let, let's not let's not have a bird's eye view of people in the toilet. Nobody wants that. Well, what if we did a little decorating to try and attract people who aren't necessarily attracted to the place? Like techies love the vintage sofa. How about the armchair? Nobody really cares about that. Standard sofa, nobody really cares. How about kids love the classy sofa? kids. They're all about being classy. Worn British chair is liked by businessmen. Hmm. Okay. What if we started to do some things here? What if we started putting this, say, over here? And that will work with a table. Um, so what if we put over in the corner here, like a little conversation area, if you will, and we got the vintage sofa sort of up again. Ooh, that'll work with a table too. So how about we did this over, he over here? Okay. Show me some tables that might work with that. Um, wow. Oh my god, there's so many decoratives. There's so many decoratives. It's really like the game was made for me. What is this? A pallet table. Ooh, I kind of like that. Oh, let's do a pallet table. That's cool. If I put it right there, it will work with that. Oh, that looks insane. I love it. It totally looks like a real hip coffee place. Um, anyone, okay, businessmen, casuals, and hipsters all like the square table. Well, what if we put that over with the couch here? So what if we put that, like, right here? Okay, so far, so good. Show me, like, maybe a lamp or something I could put on this. Wall light modern, casuals like that. How about something that would actually sit on the table? Show me something along those lines, like this. Businessmen and tourists like table lamp Adam. I am 100% changing my name to Table Lamp Adam. It's a little big, though. It's a little big for what I want here. Bedroom Lamp is better. Show me Rocky Rookie Lamp. Businessmen, kids, and seniors. Oh, it's a, it's a wall lamp. Oh, okay, I get it. Well, how about that sat right opposite, like, or bookended the couch here? One there and one there. All right, show me. I've been researching paintings for ages. What have I got? Painting frame pack shape B. Oh, art. You just you just can't title it properly, can you? Is there anything that... Okay, casuals like the painting of the tall girl. Hey, who doesn't, I say. Put that there. Okay, this place is starting to come together now. Now, of course, I'm hemorrhaging money by doing this. Absolutely hemorrhaging money. Oh, hang on, there's some trash. I'll get that, shall I? Yeah, no, that's okay. that's fine. Don't actually throw your, uh, throw your trash away or anything. All right, there's nobody here, so let's close the place. Let the customers stay so they don't say bad things about us. And skip ahead till my new employee comes in. And then open the place. I, I feel, again, I feel there's something I'm missing where I can set the schedule of the opening hours of the store. Not just the employees. There's got to be something up here. I poked around a lot. I can't immediately see it. Now, hang on. While Brandon isn't here, and you're going to be here a while... Can I send Brandon off to do some training? So everyone's whining about your milk, Brandon. You're just terrible at milk. You just can't quite get milk. And you want more training anyway. So what if I trained you? 
Okay, yeah, you're off. You're, you're, you are training right now. Um, Brandon is in hardcore milk training. I don't know where we do that. Is that is that here somewhere? Where's milk training in London? You know what? I don't wanna, I don't want to know the question or the answer to that. Wherever milk training is in London, it can just stay there. Yeah, I got to figure out how to get another coffee machine and then some more employees because this is we're getting a real bottleneck going on here. Everyone wants the no mayonnaise we promise. I get it. It's an amazing drink if you're hip and cool. Um, otherwise, it's completely disgusting. You should never, ever put this anywhere near your mouth. Um, but we can't make it very quickly. That's the problem. Like, who are you? You're a tourist. Oh, one of my employees doesn't feel well and is going to skip the next shift. Brandon, maybe Brandon's just lactose intolerant and the milk training is just has just done him in. He's like, no, I can't. I can't. I also notice it's starting to get kind of dirty around here on the floor. I don't think I can do anything about that. I don't think I have a mop. Not that I can use anyway. Might have to think about a cleaner. Oh, hang on, though. Hang on. We just researched cherry cupcake. Yeah, I'm all about that. We're going to get some of those in here. Okay, show me. Show me. Yeah, it's the only other thing we got. Show me cherry cupcake. Oh, yeah. Let's throw those. Excuse you, sir. I'm trying to trying to give you some cupcakes here. Let's start to throw those in here. And there we... Can I get one more? Uh, not, not really. No. Okay. So get out of all of that. That's fine. And then I'll just start a whole shelf of different cupcakes as they come up. What are you interested in? A flat white to go. It's not your favorite coffee. Well, then why did you order it, you moron? Yeah, the floor is getting really dirty. Oh, hey, Brandon, you're back. Are you better at things now? Uh, Brandon, where's your milk? Now your milk is poor. Okay, you just finished. Now your milk is fine. Good. You went from, well, poor to fine, basically. Got to get you going on art soon, although Janice is pretty good at the old art here. Janice is digging the art. So who's not coming in tomorrow? Is it Janice or Brandon? Cappuccino to go. It's not your favorite coffee. Well, then stop ordering these things if you don't like them. This sounds like a personal problem that you need therapy for. You keep ordering things that you don't want. Live your life, man. Now, what was your problem? You just walked out of here. I order latte, but I didn't feel like it. There's nothing else for you, and you're a senior. Okay. Well, what are, what are seniors into these days? I don't really know. I don't know anything about them right now. I know students like lattes, tourists like no mayonnaise, and so do the hipsters. I don't know what a senior likes. I, I don't know, newspapers, uh, walking, I, I, I'm just not sure. Model tees, I, I, I'm not really good with this. So whatever they like, I don't have it. Okay, what? I've researched a lot of ingredients recently. Uh, order suggestion. Okay, may may and a hot chocolate. Right. Oh, order, oh, me ordering things. Okay, yeah, uh, order that. Yeah, let's make sure we have the mayonnaise. <laughs> Everyone's going nuts for the mayonnaise. Yep, he's getting a no mayonnaise, we promise, and a cherry cupcake. Good for you. I mean, I hesitate to look at my numbers, but let me look at my numbers. Okay, so what have we done? Let's look at today. Okay, salaries of 73. Training, that was a big chunk of money right there. So we're down 111 bucks. Okay, I spent some money, though. I bought some things. Uh, cost of supplies... Okay, we're we're hemorrhaging money. This this place is going to go under really quickly. Oh, but they are sitting on the new furniture over here, looking good. This little corner here, it just invites conversation. It just invites conversation. These two people don't even know each other, but I bet they're talking about the tall girl painting. They're like, check out that painting of a tall girl. Well, how do you know she's tall? I mean, she's cut off at the shoulders there. We have no idea what her height might be. She might be four foot seven. We have no idea, but it says tall girl. So we're going to assume that she's tall. So let's check out the painting of the tall girl and question if she is in fact tall. Okay, if I were a senior, just shut up. I'm not there yet. If I were a senior, what would I want? Probably a very small cup. I probably can't hold big cups. I should also be doing this in pause mode because time is happening. Things are happening here. Let me just check right out of here. Okay, latte. Uh, hot, hot chocolate has arrived. That's good. Uh, mayonnaise will probably be right behind it somewhere. There's a kitty outside. All right, the mayonnaise just turned up. Good. Uh, let me remember to actually go and get these. Otherwise, they technically don't exist. Okay, Brandon, you should be fully stocked up now. I know you're heading out the door momentarily. No, that's fine. I'll get, I'll get that trash there. That That's okay. I'll deal with that. Well, who are you and what's your problem? You're a techie. Right on. Can I get any ideas of what you're looking for? You didn't order anything. 
You order no mayonnaise, we promise, sometimes. So you've had more than one. You've had more than one of those. All right, I could see ordering one just for the novelty factor, but you ordered more than one. Uh, one of my baristas just spilled coffee on a cup. Brandon! Brandon! 129 bucks for laundry? What what kind of high-priced laundry service are we sending that to? I'll, I'll, I'll take it home. I'll do it myself. Okay, close the place. Uh, let them stay. Right. You know what? While we're in sort of dead time here, let me get back to designing something new. All right, what if we just start with a regular cup of coffee here? Okay, I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. I don't know what it is. I can't see the vision this early, Espresso Tycoon. What? What am I going to get for seniors? Do you have any ideas? Okay, here we go. This is what I want. All right, so you want... Your temporal trend is caffeine. No, that's, that's an internal trend. So you'd like a lot of caffeine in this. Okay, good. You want a small cup. Ah, 200. See, I knew. I knew they didn't want a big cup. I, I, if I know anything about seniors, and I don't, I know they didn't want a big cup of coffee. So is there anything? Do I even own anything that's 200? Yeah, this is 100. Okay, so there we go. So how are you feeling about that? Size small, 200. Seniors will never order this coffee. I know I haven't done anything yet. All right, how about we kept this one on the simple side? How about we did an espresso with some hot water? Basically, I'm, I'm just like making an Americano here. So seniors, they love the composition. They love the cup size. I don't have any raspberry syrup. They like the temperature warm. Oh, okay, you want a lukewarm coffee. Okay, that is terrible. What, how, how do I determine, okay, there's my temperature right there, 90. What if I put cold water in there, 32? What does that do for you? Now it's warm. It's a lukewarm cup of coffee. Oh, I already hate this. All right, let me see if I can work on giving them more caffeine. If I jack this, can I make this, oh, cup capacity reached. Well, can we back off the, the water a little bit? Will that still maintain my temperature? Are you still okay with it? It's still warm, up to 49 degrees. All right, well, it's 46 right now. Now, can I increase the amount of espresso and therefore the amount of caffeine? Caffeine medium now. Okay. I don't think I can get that much more and allow for anything else in here. But let's just say I did. Let, how about, how does that do for you? There we go. There we go. Okay, so I've got 100 milligrams of caffeine in there. I don't think seniors want to be this awake, but that still meets it. And I might have room for something else in there. What else are you guys into? Milk. Okay, this is just a cup of coffee. This is just a cup of lukewarm coffee. This is not that entertaining. Maximum capacity has been reached. All right. Um, well, you guys, seniors, seniors, fussy seniors, you can have a lot of caffeine or milk. I think probably the milk would be better. They seem really angry about the milk thing. So let's back this off. How about we get this down to, say, 50 I still meet my medium caffeine. How about 40? How are you guys feeling about that? Okay, you, you, we got some caffeine in there. So how about we put in milk? Are you like, yeah, you're wicked into this now. It's a cup of coffee. It's a cup of, this is all that, I had this this morning. The students are into that too. Cool, okay. All right, well, it's not, it's not exactly my artistic vision for coffee, but... It is a cup of coffee that see it's a cup of coffee. Well, there you go. The it's just coffee. Okay, it's it's just coffee. Do you guys want anything on top of this? Any special ingredients or anything? I know you want raspberry syrup. I don't do that. You want latte art flour. Eh, I'm disinclined, frankly. Students, I'm disinclined. You already like it a lot, and it is just a cup of coffee. So we're not doing flower art on top of it. Let's just slam this thing into the menu, please. We are done. All right, get get that in there. It's just coffee. I'm noticing... Do I... Oh, I have a lot more room. Okay, a lot... Well, actually, I say a lot more room. I can put four other things on the menu until I reach a better shop level. I, mean, I can take things off, clearly. But I can only put four other things. Okay. Theoretically, tomorrow... We should have something that the seniors and the students are going to be into. We researched... Oh, hang on. Let me open the place. Again, there's got to be something I'm missing with that. Um, update my coffee recipes. Orange syrup. Ew! 
Oh, uh, uh, no. Where were you? How, how did you just come? Were you in the bathroom? You were probably in the bathroom. Uh, you've been here overnight, though. I'm sorry. We locked you in, in the bathroom. Um, hope you had a fun evening. Again, the money, the money is just tumbling at this point. Just tumbling. Oh, that reminds me. What am I charging for? Literally just a cup of coffee. No, no, not this. Uh, yeah, show me this. Just a cup of coffee. Actually, we, um, we do all right on that. We do all right. You know what? This this needs to be way more because people are wicked into this. How about it's two fifty for that and two fifty for that? It's seriously, it's just a cup of coffee. It's coffee and water and milk. I literally just finished drinking that before I recorded this. No, we do let you come in with your pet. I'm really pretty sure about that. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't allow pets. Now we do. Oh, I can open and close the bathroom. Not now, but I can open and close the bathroom. Alrighty. Um, did not know that. So back to customers. Okay. Price of mayonnaise is very affordable. Oh, not for long, Chief. No, no, no. If you're saying it's just affordable, let's uh, let's bump that up a little bit. How about it's 270 for that? Okay. I want you meh on my prices. I want you going. Yeah, I will technically pay that. Hang on. Let me refill the dog bowl here. Now that we finally allow pets. I really got to think about a cleaner sooner rather than later. Don't you have that dog mess on the floor? Because I don't have a cleaner yet, and I ain't picking that one up myself. Maybe it's just I had to pick a different map. Maybe that would have given me more than one coffee machine, because I just don't see a way to out. Oh, there's a flash mob. But God, really? It's the hipsters. It's the hipsters. That's what's going on. It's the hipsters. They're freaking out over a dollop of mayonnaise in a watered-down hot chocolate. They're digging this. They're loving this, and they've done a flash mob. I hate flash mobs. I thought we were over that. I thought we didn't do that anymore. There's a kitty in the store. Hello, kitty in the store. Oh, kitty in the store. I should... Wow, I've really got to get a cleaner. This place is a dump. How about... How about I just spend some more money while I'm here? How about... Uh, show me... Maybe some sort of floor coverings, right? I know floors exist. How about... Like a rug, basically, is what... It, what's in special again? There's all sorts of things in special. An air conditioner. Apparently, everyone loves air conditioners. It's London. How much do you need an air conditioner here? What, did it get up to 70 and everyone's passing out from the heat? More air cons, a router. Now, that probably would be a good idea. Hang on, let me get that trash there. Um, a router probably would be a good idea, but everyone's going to want Wi-Fi around here. Ah, uh, wow, you let animals in, and holy moly, you let animals in. I'm half expecting somebody to come in with, like, a goat or a sheep or something like that. It looks like a barnyard around here. Do I have, like, cabinets and stuff? I do. I do. Okay, how many? Wow, there are so many decoratives here. What is that? A keys shelf. Okay. All right, so it's like... What's that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be, like, a guitar or something? Oh, hang on, something's broken. Brandon, what did you do? What did you do? Uh, yeah, repair this, and, and repair it again. It's our only machine, I can't have it going down. For a mere 900, I can get the actual Venus de Milo in here. I I think that might be a little bit much. Alright, the router. Like, show me how that sits. Yeah, it's like, like sits on the ground, I don't want that. I want it to sit on a cabinet of some sort. What is this? Anaconda Shelf. Uh, another possible name change there. I could definitely see my name being Anaconda Shelf. All right, how about this? What if we did this, like right over here? Actually, put that maybe here. Can I then get the router on top of that? That would be my ideal. So what if, can I, yeah, I can put that right on here. Good, okay, put that there. I can't be spending all this money. This is insane. This is ridiculous. Um, I'm, I'm going to go broke very, 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 very soon. I do, however, kind of need some more chairs and tables, though. What What are you people... There's the kid with the teddy bear. He's always leaving teddy bears around here. Stop it with the teddy... Uh, also, ma'am, that's a that's an unflattering position for you to be sitting in in that skirt. I'm just saying. Yeah, I gotta get some more tables and chairs in here. Uh, there's the kid with the teddy bear again. This kid's got a lot of teddy bears. A lot. Um, kitty, dog... How's the dog bowl? It's getting a... Okay, actually, a little busy around awesome coffee, too. No, there's plenty of plenty of water in there. That's fine. That's good. I need... What if we did, like, a table chair setup maybe over here? I can't be spending this money. This is insane, Dave. You can't spend this kind of money. This is absolutely ridiculous. What's this? Tall square. Eh, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's all right. What if we did, like, a couple of those? Like, one here 
and then one down here, and then show me hopefully some reasonably inexpensive chairs that might work with that. Students like Fabricant B. I, I've heard that about them. So show me Fabricant B, and then show me another one of those. Like that. Now, can I squeeze one? Oh, hello, I found a golden coin. Okay, good, we've got a hundred bucks. Thank God, that's what's going to pay Brandon for the day. I'm just scooting this table down just a little bit there so I can get one of these to live here. There we go, without clipping through the other chair. And that one can live over there. Okay. From a pure mechanical perspective, it would be a lot smarter to just have, like, every single chair so I'd appeal to everybody. But, you know, I can't really do that because it's me. All right, I I have no money. I have absolutely no money right now. I've decorated the bejesus out of this place with the money I have, which is not much. But we're going to go broke. We've researched fish sauce. We've researched fish sauce. So somewhere in this game, I can put fish sauce in a cup of coffee. Kid, with the teddy bears, seriously. Just stop leaving your teddy bears in my store. Okay, I, I'm i not entirely sure what to do to make a lot of money very, very quickly. Uh, wait, do we have bank loans in this game? Yep, we sure do. Um, I can get up to like 10, 100,000, 10,000. I don't know, there's a lot of zeros there. I can get thousands of dollars. Thousands of, wait, why are, why are we doing dollars if we're in London? Um, a th ooh, uh, er, um, no, not today. Okay, maybe, maybe later. But not today. I gotta send people up for more speed training. That would be ideal. I think when Brandon comes in, I'm gonna send you home. Wow, we're a little busy. We're a little busy right now. I'm gonna send you to training when Brandon comes in. Yeah, and they're still saying that the price of No Man As We Promise is very affordable. Well, that is... that is no good. Okay, so now, and that could be 270 That's three bucks now. Or rather, it's 611 but we make three on it. Okay, off you go. Yep, you also want it. Yeah, sorry, the price literally went up while you were in line. I'm I'm vaguely sorry about that, sir. It's just that my employee is very slow, and we're doing some inventory management, and we raise the price, and you're out while you were in line. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta be churning through these people faster. Like, way faster than this. What is your speed? Yeah, your speed is poor. Your speed is poor. Okay, when Brandon comes in, like, momentarily, he comes in at noon, I'm going to send you all. I can't afford to send these people for training. What am I thinking? I, I can't afford to send these people to training. That's, like, half of my money to send you to training. I mean, I'm going to do it anyway. But that's, like, half my money. Oh, hang on. What what money does the router need? Pay, pay the router? I'm paying the router? Is that, like, my internet service or something? You guys, you guys better appreciate the fact that we have free Wi-Fi. That that better be like a really positive thing that makes you come in, but also be exceptionally patient at the same time. Okay, you're going out for uh, where's speed? Speed training. Off you go. Off you go to speed training. Oh, you don't actually leave. Oh, fantastic. Oh, great. Was it like an online course? You doing it on your phone? Maybe you're probably doing it on your phone. Ah, uh, okay. We've hit we've hit the breaking point with no mayonnaise. We promise. People are a little fussy about the price of that. All right, let's drop that down a little bit. There we go, 280 we make on that. That's a little better. It's just coffee. You're a senior, aren't you? Yep, yep, Rebecca, 77 years old. It's just coffee. The price is a little high, but you're going to give it a try anyway, and you love the fact that the place is pet-friendly. All right, well, you know what? I will drop that down just a smidge, just one little tick there for you. Uh, we, we need more milk. Yes, we do. Okay, order that, please. All right, um... I've made a little bit of money today, not not much. Customers are complaining about the smell. I'm not surprised. Nobody cleans this place. Okay, let's let's look at a cleaner. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, cleaners. Okay, Kyle, Kyle. Okay, you know what? Who's cheap? I just need anyone who's cheap. Adam, you're not that bad. You're slow, but you're really good at cleaning the toilet. Um, Adam, you're in. Okay, so you're going to work eight hours a day. Oh, wait, can I not hire you? Oh, I can't, I can't hire you at all. Do I need to maybe reach another level? Yeah, I need to be three beans on this. 
How we get into three beans these days? Uh, order mayonnaise. Dear God, yes. Order mayonnaise and order the hot, hot chocolate. Um, how do I get to three beans? Getting rate of 20, I've got that. Sell 10 copies, done that. 25 style points, done that. And I need a barista with a coffee skill of good. My current best is poor. <laughs> oh, Brandon. Yeah, they're both in on poor. So it's going to take a little bit to get them up to good. I will... I'm going to shoot Brandon a training here on this. All right. Um, where are we at? What time is it? Okay, Brandon's got a little bit of the day to go here. Yes, I know people are complaining about the smell. I'm complaining about the smell. I'll get that bottle of water for you, shall I, sir? Don't bother to throw that in recycling or anything. Ooh, we researched a travel mug. Ah, uh, yes, absolutely. Order espresso. Thank you. What does that do? Hang on. What, is, what does a travel mug do? That sounds... Oh, it's a decoration. Okay. Like, maybe? Maybe? Uh, show me decorations. Where would that be? Special? Maybe under special? Okay, well, how about you just search it like a normal person? Tra- okay, tra- tra- travel mug. There we go. Ooh, lots of people like that. Like, everyone likes that. Can I put those over here? I can. I can't put anything else here. I may as well put one here. Um, can we get that to live? Wow, just- whoa, whoa, what just happened? Oh, that would be my order showing up. Never mind, don't panic. It's drone delivery, Dave. It was not somebody bombing the place. Well, next morning, I'm just doing some cleaning around the place. This oh, guy just spilled his coffee all over the table and then walked away. Ah, oh, the place is a pit. Teddy bears all over the place. I gotta pay for the router here. All right, there we go. We have Wi-Fi for today. We've got day-to-day -day Wi-Fi right now. I have no money. I have nothing. I've got to get somebody up to the next level of coffee. And I just can't do that right now. I don't really have that money. That, lo that loan is looking more and more tempting as we go along. Let me just see what we do today. Let's do... Oh, hang on. I, I, my supplies have arrived. Good. I need that. Um, let's just kind of do a, a maybe a day of trying not to spend money on things and see how it all goes around Awesome Coffee 2. We've already got a backlog here. Yeah, the, you, you can't possibly keep up, Janice. You're, you're basically terrible at things, aren't you? You're basically terrible at things. Now, why can I only train you? Oh, because I don't have the money. Yeah, no, 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 the, the game is just shutting me off. No, 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 kid, you don't have the money to train anything at all except this. And probably don't do that, because that would leave you with, well, basically no money. Now my rating just went down to, what is, what is the problem here? It smells. Yes, it does. That's correct. It does. It's, um, it's hip? I don't know. It's like, it's like a new cool thing. Like, we just leave our trash around. Because we're, we're like anti- throwing things away. We're, we're reducing and reusing. We're recycling by not actually doing anything at all with our with our refuse. We're just leaving it where it stands. I mean, probably the fact that the place is a barnyard might have something to do with the smell. There are animals wandering in and out of here all day. I don't even think they belong to anyone. They're just coming in and out, doors open. There's dogs and cats and probably sheep and goats. Horses, maybe horses. Ooh, dark chocolate syrup. Oh, that does sound good. I like the sound of that. I can't do anything with it. But I like the sound of it. All right, Brandon's here for the day. Um, Brandon, Brandon. Wow, it's too much money to get you, get you up in that. We might be able to do that a little bit later, but not right now. I'd, I'd love to get that training done and get up to this third bean thing so I can hire a cleaner that I can't afford to clean up all the dog waste. All right, businessmen have nothing to order. Okay, businessmen have nothing to order. Well, what are business... Oh, I should have put this on pause mode. Hang on. What are businessmen into? All right, they want a lot of calories, not many unique layers. They'd love to have some fruit on top of it. Really? You want to put like a banana in a cup of coffee? I'll do it. I'm not, I'm not saying I won't do it. I just don't think I know bananas yet. You want it very hot and you'd like some syrup. You're really keen on not having a lot of unique layers, though. Okay. 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 You don't really care about caffeine. So, this doesn't have to be coffee, per se. Although hot chocolate would have just as much caffeine as I understand hot chocolate. So, right now that's 85. Okay, how about we gave you, like, more of this, like that. How are we meeting on businessmen? Okay. Not enough calories. Right on. Right on. What do I have for syrups these days? Syrup. Quite a bit. Well, I've got my new dark chocolate syrup. 
Oh, God. Lemon and mint syrup. Oh, ah, ooh. How about, how about this is just pure candy? How about some dark chocolate syrup that I don't have yet, but I can get that? How are you digging it now, kids? You still want some fruit in there. Oh, did I just lower the temperature? I think I just lowered, yeah, it's 69 now. All right, put more hot chocolate in it. Like lots of it. Put, there you go, 105 milligrams or milliliters or millimiles. I don't know. I don't do metric. Uh, kilometers, whatever. Hectares. You got a lot of hot chocolate in there. It's only 76, though. That's not as warm as I might like it to be. It's warm enough for you. Co science, like, sort of. How about if we just put some hot water in there? It's just fill it up with hot water. Can I, do I have extra hot water? Is that a thing that exists? There we go. Now you're up to 88. Better? Better. Uh, no, that's hipsters. Look at businessmen. Now, if I can just throw some fruit on here, you are wicked into this. I don't have any fruit, though. That's the problem. Special ingredients. Tabasco? You want some butter? I mean, butter isn't technically a fruit in the grand scheme of things. I mean, it's, it's like fruit adjacent and that you'd probably create that on a farm and farms grow fruit. Not this particular farm. This would come from a dairy farm, which to my knowledge, you don't generally mix dairy farms and fruit farms. Probably in two completely different areas of the country too. I mean, I don't really know how farms work. I'm not a farmer. It's farm adjacent. Can I put a stick of butter in here? Which apparently. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's not very hot anymore. Yeah, the butter is probably lowering the temperature there. Okay, take take the butter out. How are you feeling now? You're pretty good on this. You're I I can give you everything but fruit. Peanuts? Peanuts is a peanut is a legume, right? It's like technically not a nut, even though we call it a peanut. It's not a nut. It's a legume. I'm pretty sure about that. Tabasco? That'd be 23 degrees. How, this would this make it hotter? How do you feel about that now? Yeah, you're into that. You're into that. Put some Tabasco sauce on it. I Again, fruit adjacent is what I'm seeing here, businessman. I'm doing this all for you. Hey, there we go. The fruit adjacent. That's what that's what we're doing now. It's a very, very hot cup of, cup of hot chocolate with some chocolate syrup and Tabasco sauce on, on top of it. I'm not even sure. I'm actually not sure where you get Tabasco from. Is that like from a pepper or something? It seems like it should be from a pepper. Pepper is kind of like a fruit. This is fruit adjacent. Okay, so I need to get Tabasco, no surprise, and uh, hot chocolate syrup. There we go. Okay, so, yes, no, we're, we're doing all of this. Yes, we're saving this. No, this exists. I know I can't technically do it now, but we're going to get that going. Yep, thank you. I will order that. Uh, just get, I don't know, like, oh, I can't possibly afford that. Just get one unit of this. We'll, we'll see how it goes down. See, customers are already lining up for the fruit adjacent. My rating has gone down. Customers are complaining about the smell. I imagine that they are. Yes, I, I imagine that's absolutely a thing that they're complaining about. Um, Brandon, you don't look like you're doing anything interesting right now. Would you like to go off for some training? Because I can afford that now. Brandon, go train. That's all my money. My money just went away. Thank God this guy's ordering the no mayonnaise. That's at least the expensive drink around here. Problem is, with all of the smell and the trash and all that, my rating has gone down several times. So now I'll get the... Brandon will have the coffee skill of good, but now I've got to get my rating back up. Oh, this is a a delicate web to weave here. You, wow, you spent $35. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Sorry, I've got, I'm going to use that to pay for the Wi-Fi, like, immediately. You're welcome. Okay, Brandon is good at coffee now. People are still complaining about the smell, and the place is not actually open. So let's, let's cover that one right now. Yes, I know people are complaining about the smell. However, my rating is down. So I have the good coffee person, but I've got to get my rating back up. My rating is now zero out of 20. I've got to get a cleaner in here. This has got to be my number one priority because this place is a complete pit. And I can pick off the trash, but I can't, I can't appear to clean the floor, not in any way that I found. So I can't come in and run a mop around the place. It's just awful. And again, we have pets tracking in and out of here. I'm sure it is actually quite awful in here. Uh, you're getting an espresso to go. Good. It's probably best you leave. It's very, very stinky in here. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Espresso Tycoon for today. We're just going to plug along a little bit longer. I just want to see kind of what I can do with my little London coffee shop here. Guys, do please let me know in the comments what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. 
it does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet, but I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. <laughs> I, I broke Dave. You broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves, I'll be back. <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.